Okay, next we're going to talk about the transform tool. So the transform tool is in the toolbox. This is the second tool in the toolbox. It, the keyboard shortcut is Q on the keyboard. So you might want to keep that in memory. And when selecting an object with the transform tool, you'll have this bounding box that has nine handles on it. And moving your cursor around this box allows you to do different things. So for example, if I want to scale this down, if I move my cursor into the corner, I can click and drag and scale down. If you want to scale down in proportion, holding shift will keep it in proportion. Now notice that it's scaling down based on the center point. So the center point is in the center of this object, but that center point can be moved. We'll talk more about that in a bit. Second thing we can do is rotate. So if I move my cursor over one of the corner points and just outside, your cursor changes and has this curly arrow next to it, and that allows you to rotate. And again, we're rotating from that center point. So that's my reference point, that's my axis point, and we can rotate from there. Um, keep in mind you have a transform panel, and the transform panel will indicate all of these different things. <clears throat> so as I transform here, I'll notice that it's capturing the rotation angle, 26.7%. I'm just going to undo that. And as I scale, it's capturing the scale transform. So I'm going to undo that as well. <clears throat> the last thing we can do is skew. So if you move your cursor on any one of the sides, you'll see this um, double arrow. One arrow is moving one way, one arrow is moving the other way. And again, uh, based on the angle point, anchor point, I should say, uh, it's going to skew this object. So that's all the transform options in the transform panel. Uh, let's take a look and talk a little bit more about this. So right now, if I were to animate a rotation on this particular object, uh, it would rotate, it would spin based on this axis, right? So let me just go out here and let's put in some frames. I'm going to hit F5 to set that up. And here I'm going to hit F5 as well. And then on this layer, the layer that has the object that we're working with, I'm going to choose Create Motion Tween. So now any changes that we make will be reflected here. So if I move down to frame 40 and I were to rotate the object, that should animate. Yep, and it does. And so it's animating based on the center point. Well, what if I didn't want that? What if, what if I didn't want it to rotate by the center? So I'm going to undo a couple times. And now I have um, no motion tween. Actually, I just want to make sure there's no motion tween, so I'm just going to remove it. And then let's go back to the transform tool. So let's say that I want to rotate, but I want to rotate from the bottom left-hand corner. So if as I start dragging this anchor point, I can drag it to any location within and even outside of the transform panel, um, or the transform bounding box, I should say. If you hold down the shift key, uh, it should snap to these points. So I'm going to just snap it to this point. And now if I rotate, it's going to rotate from that point on instead. Okay. Uh, transform would be the same thing. So now that I moved it here, let's say I do a transform animation. Let's say that um, I'm just going to change this real quick. This is a quick tip. So if you want to do the opposite type of animation where I want it to scale big, right? So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just change the transform to 101%. And then I'm going to undo that. And that's just going to give me, well, it should give me a keyframe here. That's what I want to do. I want to just grab a keyframe. Oh, or you need to put the motion tween on first. So first of all, create the motion tween. And then change this just up a little bit. And then bring it back to 100%. Now it's going to remember that keyframe. Then if I go back here, what I want to do is I want to scale this down. 
So holding down the shift key, clicking, dragging, and make it scale up. And as I play through this, you'll see that it scales up. But it's not scaling up from the center anymore. It's scaling up from the reference point or the anchor point that I set earlier. Uh, in addition to all these tools uh, in the transform panel uh, that you have here, you can also go to the modify menu down to transform and you have sc scales, rotate and skew, scale and rotate, rotate 90, rotate 90, CCW, and then flip. And these come in really handy. Um, so if I wanted to flip this horizontally, now the mech is facing a different direction altogether. So keep that in mind. Um, all those tools are available to you. Again, the keyboard shortcut for the transform tool is Q on the keyboard. And then uh, when you want to get out of that and you want to get back to the regular tool, just hit V on the keyboard and I'll go back to the regular selection tool. So that will get you out of that. So that's the transform tools and um, that's transformations. And also the most important thing here was the anchor point.